Hi there everyone, it's Layla here again. I hope you're all well and um, staying safe and keeping yourselves active. So today I want to share with you one of my um, healthy recipes. So this is a spinach and chickpea curry. Um, I hope you're going to enjoy it. I'm putting my Jamie Oliver hat on today, doing a little bit of cooking. Um, so yes, it's a quick, easy, simple, healthy and tasty recipe. Um, so I hope you're going to like it. Um, I just want to show you my ingredients. So a big bowl of spinach here, um, obviously one of the main ingredients. Um, spinach, great source of vitamin K, of iron and lots of other nutrients. Um, I've got green beans here as well, so you can't have too many vegetables. Um, so green beans, again, another source of fibre, vitamin K, lots of good um, vitamins and minerals. Um, I've got coriander which I'm going to put on at the end, but I'm going to use the stalks when I fry off the onions. Um, I've got onion, and I'm using red onion. You can use white onion if you want. Um, I like red onion because it gives a little bit more colour. Um, onions, we know, are great for the base of any kind of nice curry. Um, and also, it contains a lot of good nutrients as well. In particular, it contains uh, compounds that help feed the good bacteria that live inside our digestive system. So that's always good. Um, I've got some tomatoes here for a bit of colour and also extra vitamin C and other good nutrients. Um, I'm putting those in towards the end and we'll just let them cook down. Now, I'm cheating a little bit because I'm using a ready-made curry paste. But if you want to make your own curry paste, using all the, you know, the spices and um, um, ingredients that go into that, please feel free. I'm just cheating a little bit today. So that's, this is a Madras curry paste, so I like a little bit of spice. Um, I've got my chickpeas. Now I've got organic chickpeas. These are just in water. Um, you don't have to use organic. I know they are more expensive, but whatever chickpeas you get, try to make sure there's no um, added salt or sugar if possible. Um, and then I'm using coconut milk. Now you can use this or you could use a tin of tomatoes or just water to add to the curry paste. I'm using coconut milk because it gives a nice creamy texture. Um, Coconut milk does have some good healthy properties, uh, but it does also have some saturated fat, so we maybe don't want to have it too often, but having it once in a while is, is okay. So these are my ingredients. You'll see how quick this is to make. Um, so yeah, I hope you're going to enjoy. Um, so come along to my kitchen. Okay, we're in my kitchen already, but we'll get along to the cooker. Okay guys, so here we are at the uh, cooker. <laughs> So I don't have a lot of room in my kitchen, um, but basically I've got some um, extra virgin olive oil in here I'm heating up, and I'm going to put my onions in now and my coriander stalks, okay, just to kind of fry off. All right. So, so yeah, just kind of put these off for a few minutes, let them soften. Um, you'll see it's really, really simple. We're just piling the ingredients in. Um, and kind of letting it all kind of simmer and as we know with curries usually the longer you leave them the, the more the flavours come out um, so yeah I'm using extra virgin olive oil like I said I tend to use that mostly in my co uh, cooking so it's a good oil to, to cook with you know we know olive oil is a good healthy um, healthy oil it contains a lot of the monounsaturated fats which are uh, thought to be protective of our heart um, you know, with any any fats though, you know, if you are kind of trying to control weight, then you probably don't want to have go overboard. So just kind of be aware of how much you're actually using. Um, so you can see in here it's my onions and my coriander stalks just kind of browning off. So yeah, this is my first time trying a cooking video, guys. So <laughs> do forgive me if I kind of mess up in any way. Um, but yeah, so we let those cook off there. And then the next thing I'm going to add in, to be honest, I could add any of these ingredients. It doesn't really matter. Um, so I might put my green beans in there. I suppose it's really quick. Everything cooks quite fast. Actually, what I should have done is I put my <laughs> I put my curry paste in there because that needs to kind of cook out a little bit. So we'll put that in. See, I told you I'd mess up, didn't I? So I'm going to cook this curry paste. As I told you earlier, this is ready prepared one. All right, so I'm just kind of frying this curry paste off with my green beans, my onions and coriander stalks. And then as I said, you know, it's literally a matter of then just adding everything. So I'm going to put my chickpeas in next. Um, 
So I put the water in and everything. Okay. That brings the temperature down a little bit. But yeah, I mean chickpeas, these are the tin ones, they're already cooked, so they don't really take much cooking. So yeah, so that's it. And then I'm gonna put my coconut milk in. Okay. That provides my sauce. And as I said, you know, if you don't want to use coconut milk, you can just use the tin of tomatoes. You can just do um, or top it up with water, to be honest. You know, but you will find the coconut milk just give it a nice creamy texture. So I don't know if you can see, guys, um, but that's what it looks like now. Can you see that without me spilling it? Um, so yeah, it changes colour. I love that colour. Nice yellowy brown colour with all the green there. So we'll let that cook and then I'll put my tomatoes in like this. I like to leave them quite chunky because um, then as they soften down you get another big chunk of vegetables and it provides a lot of different textures. So yeah, that's it basically. I'm going to let that cook down for a little bit and then I'd add the spinach in towards the end because the spinach doesn't take long to cook as you know. Um, and uh, and that's it basically. <laughs> so we just let that cook out and then at the end I'll sprinkle some coriander on, on the top. Alright, so yeah, really simple. So there you can see the spinach um, and chickpea curry simmering away. I'm going to add my spinach in now as you can see. Okay, so that will kind of cook down in no time. Okay, and that's the kind of last ingredient really now apart from the... Um, coriander at the end so we'll just let that cook down guys and then we'll come back to that in a few minutes and I'll show you the uh, end result okay so there's the end product everyone spinach green bean chickpea curry simmering away there hopefully that will be yummy and um, now you could serve that with some brown rice to give you some extra fiber and you could serve it with whole wholemeal chapati or you could just serve it as it is maybe with side salad so you're getting even more vegetables so remember guys you know colorful food um, will provide a lot more nutrients we don't need to have too many carbs you know <clears throat> chickpeas do contain some carbs themselves anyway and um, so yeah i hope you um, enjoy that give it a try let us know what you think so thanks for joining me guys for my little cooking <laughs> adventure this morning um, so I'm going to have a little taste now, I've got a little bowl here. Mm, it's actually really nice. It does have a kick, but it's a madras, so, you know, use whatever curry paste you want, make it as mild or as hot as you as you want to. But yeah, it's really nice, guys, and as I said, I'd probably serve it with a little bit of rice later, or might just have it just as a bowl of good, um, wholesome vegetables by itself. So thanks again, guys. Hope you well, look after yourself, and hope to see you all really soon. Take care. Bye.